Hi guys. I wanted to do a video um, and share some things that have come up lately that uh, I've been holding off on saying anything and knowing that I was I was meant to share these things. As you know, I've been posting a lot on spirituality and communication with the dead and so on. Um, as I had been working to flip the switch on, because I wanted it full force after my little brother had passed away, and then my grandmother and my cousin and then my dad and so on. Um, you know, I wanted to take what I had been given. It's a, a beautiful little gift my whole life. Turn it on and use it full time all the time and not just you know occasionally and it's to help others with their abilities because we all have these abilities so i had posted a while ago um on using a pendulum and there's different ways that we can communicate Having tarot cards and oracle cards are another way like a pendulum, but the pendulum is something that I think anyone can use, not just, you know, having a deck of cards, you know. I think everyone should have a deck of cards. Um, I think everyone should also have a dimensional key for locating portals in your house. Um, because a lot of the times people know of, but they don't actually know or have a sign, something in front of them to say, okay, look, this is moving to say there's a portal right here. And with a pendulum, um, you can do that as well. Not just use it for communication with your higher self and those that are with the higher self. Um... And then also having your gems and crystals around. I'm big on crystals, as you know. So I have right here uh, an actual skeleton key. And they stopped making those, um, I think it's 1840 or 1860, something like that. Let me take this off. Um, this is a dimensional bracelet, um, multi-world bracelet that I made. Um, you can find them already made online, uh, which is planetary bracelets. And when you include a dual set along with others on there, what that is is communication with multi dimensions in all worlds and the key to do so. Might seem cute, but it is what it is. Also, I think with having a necklace like this, this wraps around, it's all magnetized. The black pieces that are on here is magnetite, so I don't need to have a clasp. Um, it just comes off. And this has crystals on it, and that's for communication. And it, see, it just wraps and you're good to go. Uh, with the crystals that I have on that particular necklace that I just showed, is to slam you not doing it gently so a better example to to give you is instead of using clear quartz which would slam you with information and all of your chakras align like bam here you go it's a little too much for people so having a piece of white quartz is um a smooth way of of receiving information gently, not slamming it to you. For me, I don't care. And I want it slammed. So I do wear the gems and crystals to slam information. Uh, my cousin Lisa gave me this key. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Now this isn't an authentic one uh, skeleton key from the 1800s or before. But it is really beautiful, and I'm going to put this on a piece like this, uh, similar, but using this for um, showing where portals are. 
other ways that you can communicate outside of a pendulum is having an oracle deck and what we know now as playing cards. My mother got me these when I was younger. They mean a lot to me. Because no matter what, you know, I love my family and I love my parents. And this was given to me, like, maybe in my early 20s. So I've had this deck over 20 years. Now, regular playing cards are actually designed to be tarot. They weren't designed to be playing cards like you play rummy or gin, you know, that kind of thing. No. Um... And this I would use for others, not just myself. But having your own deck for your own that is for you, for the, the spirits to communicate with you. That you're not going to use on other people to do a reading, you know what I mean? Something you can use for your own personal readings. We should have them, all of us should. If you're interested in communicating with loved ones who've passed over onto the other side, as we'd like to say, to make it quicker. Lately, I have been, you know, and as I mentioned earlier online, you know, i kind of been bitching out my dad a little bit, <laughs> you know. Um, I've been talking to my dad and my grandma a lot lately. My dad's birthday is on the 7th, and this is the evening of the 5th. And recently, um, talking to them, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pull out a card. And I had kind of mentally put it as one card. Didn't really specify too much out loud. So it left it open. And I'm like, you know what? I I'm going to pull a card. So after talking to my dad and Graham, telling them, look, I understand we are all individuals we all have our own individual life our own individual soul because our bodies are like an rc car for the spirit world and that's to make it quicker um one of the things that i had mentioned is i i get it that our lives and our our deaths they're all different every one of us is different while there might be a lot of similarities, look how many people die in a car accident. Look how many people die of cancer and so on. There's similarities, but each person on this planet is different. Each soul that drives these little RC cars is different. We all have different aspects. Just like we all have individual thoughts, that's the mind of God. And our higher self is an aspect of God, okay? So I had been mentioning to them that with my own death, I got to see the most gorgeous, and I've mentioned this to you before, the most gorgeous tree I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anything like it. And I understand that all of our, our lives and deaths are different. But if I could wish anything is for my dad and my gram to get to see the tree that I had talked to them about since I was a kid and I had my own accident. Hi, my gorgeous. My daughter is climbing on the table. That's my own Gara. And where's your sister? She's just sitting here somewhere. I know she is. But anyway, here, let Daddy do these, okay? Yeah, let Daddy. See, my baby wants to help. You want to say hi, everyone? Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Oh, Gara says hi. Okay. So I, I wanted for my dad and my gram to be able to see the tree that I could. You know, that if there was a way that God would let them get to see the tree, that would be magnificent. Because all these years, since 89, I've been telling them about this tree. I went into a garden. My daughter, Algaro, wants to say hi. You want to be a part of it? She's my little uh, familiar. Yeah. Any kind of spiritual thought that I have, if I even pull out a notebook to write down, doing automatic writing or anything, bam, she comes into the room. She's got to be a part of spirit stuff. Angara is the guard, and she learned that from Puppy. 
my snowball, which was my dad's dog. Um, so I felt compelled about a day or two later to pull some cards out of my own personal oracle deck. Talk to me. Tell me things. What would you like to say to me, about me, to me? Amen. Run it up. You know what I mean? And so I got a bunch of cards. I felt really guided and pushed. Grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this, and stop. And what I have, I'll flip this around. Can I flip this? Can I flip this around? No, I can't flip it around. But anyway, these are the cards that I got, okay? So I'm going to share with you what my dad and my gram wanted me to know and understand about me and my life and talking to me, knowing that they heard my conversations to them. What do you want to tell me? And I'll show these because I guess I can't flip it around. I don't see the thing to flip it. Masters of mediumship. I know. Thank you. And then we got the divine source. I know I've been talking to God, and God's been talking to me since I was a little kid. I've, I've told you before, um, I would always do what God tells me, and if my family or friends or anybody said, no, you need to do this, and God's telling me something else. Sorry, dude. If God tells me what to do or say or think, or do, you know, that's the way it is. That made me the black sheep in a lot of this area, not just with my family. So then, on top of that, we have a clear audience from the divine source. I get it. Masters of mediumship, the clear audience, and the divine source. I know I'm listening to God, and thank you for acknowledging to me. It's not in my head ever since I was a little kid, four years old, running into the restaurant. God wants me to get a pen and a pe or pencil. He said pencil, and because I was four years old, and everyone adult-wise was using pen, not a pencil. I'm like, I want to use a pen and write down what it means to be a true best friend to someone. What is the definition of a true best friend? Because that's what I need to be in order to receive. And that's the way God has been with me my whole life. God has also shown me years before I ever met my ex, showed me who they were. I saw them. That was weird. And he told me their names. And then years later, I met them and I was in a relationship with Jesse for 11 years. Okay. There's also from that in my sitting in the power of communication, hearing God, inspirational mediumship. So all of these little inspirational things that I've been posting and I've been sharing a lot of is coming from source. And for that, I'm grateful. And I know, thank you very much. Somebody, spirit-wise, is telling me through these already, look, this is what you are, and this is where it's coming from. And this inspirational pieces that I'm able to provide at different points has been coming from the spirit world and from God. We'll start with this. Linking with spirit. Hand in hand, my dad and my gram are there. They're still here to talk to me every day. When I was little, I used to have to uh, put on shows at the restaurant. We called it the restaurant. It was a bar. If you know, you know. Anyway, trance dance. That was God. My dad and my gram are here. 
and they wanted me to know these things. That it's not just all in my head as some dumbass kid saying, Ooh, God wanted me to say this, or I post out something real nice and pretty, because this is the way I talk, and you've seen some of the things that I posted. That's inspirational mediumship. That's coming from the divine source. And God's telling me. Look. And also. I wanted to know if my dad and my gram. If there's ever a hope. You know what I mean? We're all different. Our deaths are different. I hope you could at least get to see the tree that I got to see. Which is why since 1989. More so since because i've always loved trees but more so since they got to see the tree that i talked about when i died i went into a garden and i got to see the most magnificent tree i've ever seen with the most beautiful flowers on it that i've ever seen and they were telling me that yeah they got to see it too and to me, that means so much to me. Because no matter what kind of issues or whatever, you know, crap you got going on, you know, your dad or your mom, or your grand, whatever, they're all this, that, you know what I mean? You would hope for them to see what you got to see if you got to die and come back. And I did. And I wanted them to see the tree. Because it was the most magnificent thing I could have ever imagined. And if I could have ever imagined for them. You know what I mean? Like a namaste moment. I'd love to have you see the tree. So that was their confirmation. And this was the first card that I pulled out. They were telling me, look. We did get to see the tree. And now, let us tell you some things about you. And it guided me to pull card after card after card after card. Stop. And I could not pull out any more cards. It wouldn't let me. It, whatever you want to call it. These are the ones that I was supposed to see. This is them talking to me, telling me. Look. So I wanted to share that with you. And I've been holding off for a while because I've been letting it sit and resonate with me. And I did this a couple weeks ago when I didn't put these cards back. Like I could have, I could have put them back in the box, you know, separately and everything. I didn't want to do that. I left them out. And I've been sitting on my desk with the crystal balls and everything around it. Because I know that I was meant to say something and I just, I wanted to let it sit with me. So I did. So, I think having a pendulum is one of the easiest ways you can communicate with the other side. I think having your own oracle deck for you that you don't read for other people and do a reading or a tarot reading and all my other cards are out west and I wished I had more here and I wish I had another Masonic deck here. But anyway, I do have, for over 20 years, however many, because it was around, maybe I was 21 or something, I don't know, you know, that I got these. I'll do a reading with these for other people. Regular playing cards, and my love is with my Jasper Newton Daniel, my whole life. I'll do a reading for other people with these. But my deck, that's for me and only me. And I'll let the spirits world, you know, talk to me through my own personal deck. Now I have, at varying points you've seen, posted up. I'll share with you some things out. You know, like what would you want me to say to the world? Would you pick out a card? And, what could I show and share? Is there a message you'd like to give? Out of my own personal, for me only deck. I've done that. That's a rarity. I don't want to keep doing that. 
even though I'm going to keep doing that, this deck is for me and only me. I think we should all have that. Because we all want to communicate with loved ones on the other side. Having your crystals. <laughs> now, as you've seen, I posted it up on my Instagram. I didn't post it up on the other sites. Maybe I will. But this is one of them. Um, one of the babies. Because it's tiny. Really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean stunning this the rainbows in this and you know on the corner i mean like in the daylight i can point it out you know this is a record keeper it's got rainbows all through the whole thing it's stunning always have your crystals um if you don't want to be slammed with spirit world like i said instead of doing clear have your white because your white is you know there's less light going through it it's going to be more subtle to you and the benefit with the white quartz or snow quartz as it's called um, you can find it in driveways all over you know you can find it all over the place as long as it's quartz and it's not just a regular white rock um, the snow also helps physically with ailments and things. So I do keep this all over the house because I do still have the tumors in my feet. And the white, hi baby girl, you want to come up and sit with daddy? Yeah, come on up baby girl, come on. You can come sit with daddy. Daddy's talking spirit, you know it. God, you're intuitive. I know you are. They've been having a lot of fun with the ghosts in this house lately. They're both sitting there in my room watching and going like this and what, you know, and I know the ghosts have been playing with them. Just like right now. Um, and I think that's wonderful. And uh, Notori's been laying on my dad's chair lately. And uh, my dad always thought that, you know, it was where Notori didn't like him. That's not what it was. Notori's my baby. And she's always been really jealous of Ongara, you know, like, you know, she didn't want Ongara to have all the lovings. You know, Notori wanted all of daddy's lovings for herself. But lately, she's been hanging out, sitting on my dad's chair and sleeping on top of my dad's chair with my dad's blanket and, you know, really being there for my dad. So it's going to be my dad's birthday on the 7th. Today is the end of the fifth, right? So, another, here we go. So, I wanted to post this up for all of you, but for my dad. And I really wanted to say that this is going to be my dad's first birthday on the other side. Now, I'm not going to make him a vanilla cake because <laughs> he, uh, he didn't really care for it as much as he thought he was going to. He wanted a vanilla cake his entire life, and his sister, which is older, my Aunt Kathy, she's passed over for like seven years now. Um, and time, I have an issue with, and I've mentioned that. I have an exceptional memory. I can remember watching Mount St. Helen go off. I was born in 77. I remember watching it on the news. I remember other things. I remember when my brother was conceived, my little brother Chris, and I was told to play with the radio, just face forward. I remember a lot. <laughs> I don't know how I can remember all of these things. I remember everything. Good and bad, you know, but time I have a big issue with. Time does not exist on the other side. And that's where coming back from the dead in 89, time has been a real big trip for me. I don't understand time. But my memory is spot on. It's helped me as an actor. So get yourself a deck. 
even if it's a regular quote-unquote playing card deck, because these were designed to be tarot. They weren't designed to be playing cards. Have a deck for yourself, because that is a way for the spirit world to communicate. Have your key link with multi-world dimension. Now this has crystals, is uh, all kinds of clear quartz. It has all kinds of um, agate and uh, opal and labradorite and um, you know just all kinds of stuff on here. This is a uh, planetary, but then I have dual on there plus others, so it works as you know the duality of all worlds. And that is a big help. You, boy, you can see the rainbow coming through on this. Yep, on the Labradorite right, right there. Um, that really helps along with the key. Because you want to have a key to unlock multi-dimension. The duality of all worlds. Now if there is, like I've said, and I know a lot of people won't understand until it's explained. This hat was given to me while I was homeless, and I will cherish it forever. It says, unholy, I'm not evil, and I never have been. But if there is one word that would describe the duality,